Hello! Welcome to the Colorful Creativity Podcast. My name is Caroline and this is episode 58. You can find me online everywhere as Kralalin, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, The Works. I have an Etsy shop where I sell my hand dyed yarn and all kinds of knitting and crochet notions. It's kralalin.etsy.com. And of course, there's a group on Ravelry, the Colorful Creativity Group. And uh, you can find it in the group section on Ravelry. So, welcome everyone. Happy you are back again for returning viewers. And of course, very nice of the new viewers that you are checking me out. I hope you like it here and subscribe down below. And if you like the episode, of course, give a thumbs up. Um, Binks is sitting next to me and he already found some loose ends on a finished object because that's where we're gonna start this week. I have two finished objects and yes, it's huge to me. So I'm gonna start with the first one. And the first one is my pair of How Cold Is It Mittens. Ta-da! All done. And as you can see, the gradients are going the other way. So, like this. I really love them. But they are on the small side for me. I think the cuff is a bit short. I don't like cold arms, so when a friend told me on Facebook she loved them and she's a very knit-worthy friend, I decided that she can have this pair. Uh, well, she's also the one who always uh, finishes the items I send her herself, so I don't need to weave in these ends. She can do that herself. She actually likes doing that, just like getting rid of all the tangles in some yarn. Um, the pattern for this is How Cold Is It Mittens by Drunk Gold Designs. And I will show you more of it later. Because when you give away a pair, you still need a pair of mittens. I changed for this one the thumbs. I made it that they are a bit more pointy than just straight. I like that because I, I liked it to be a bit more tight around my thumb. Um, I might not do that again because I, I don't really like the look of it. So, oh well, first pair, lessons learned. Very, very nice knit. And Binks was already trying to help getting rid of these ends. He's really a thread and, and yarn and whatever, chewer. Not in a ball, but just when there's ends like that wiggling around, he will catch them. So I'm making sure they are safely away. And then, well, I should say the moment we've all been waiting for, for the last two years almost. Here it is. I finished my very first garment. My peacock eyes cardigan is finished. And I am not wearing it for one reason. I couldn't block it. I uh, did all the ends yesterday. Yes. All the ends were woven in immediately. And, well, yay me. I did not even complain because actually it was nice finishing my beautiful garment. It has a three-quarter sleeve because I chickened out on yarn chicken. I could have done easily probably an inch longer, but then it would have been like it shrunk. So now it's really nice and comes to here. It just fits beautifully with the waist shaping and I'm gonna put a photo in here wearing it because I already put it on yesterday for a photo and I uh, used some stitch markers, those plastic ones and use them as buttons. So it, it doesn't have buttons, but I first want to block it. But if I had blocked it yesterday, it wouldn't have been dry now to show you. So yeah, next week, I hope to be wearing this. Well, actually I have to be wearing this this week when I am blocking it today. And then I can wear it. Oh, I want to wear it. I'm so happy with it. So information on it, Peacock Eyes Cardigan. You can see the peacock lace part, 
The pattern is by Justyna Lokowska. Um, the yarn I used is my own hand dyed yarn. It's a colorful experiment. It's a 100% merino base with some Stellina in it. It sparkles really, really pretty. I hope you can see that. Maybe a bit closer. So, yeah. I am absolutely in love with it. It took me about two years. Well, I started this January 2016 and finished it December 2017. So, yeah. It's that bad garment knitting for me. But it's there now and I'm actually already looking forward to my next garment I'm gonna cast on. And I'm really madly in love with the Sunset Highway sweater. That's really popular at the moment. But it has a yoke which makes my shoulders even wider than I am. I'm so in doubt if I want to make that and if I make it what colors do I use so it is pretty on me and yeah not sure. Spike is a very good second but I don't have enough yarn for that yet. Um, another one I have found is um, one I got gifted. I think it's called the Sunday sweater um, but I have to dye the yarn for that um, and it's a whole kilo so I'm already always a bit anxious and I need to have good light and we don't have any good light at the moment we've got snow and rain and gray and yuck weather I already got soaking wet this morning once so I'm staying inside for the rest of the day um, so yeah I've got some things planned I, I am tempted to do my portulaca cardigan which is a heavily heavily cabled uh, Irish cables cardigan but that will mean a cardigan again and I was actually looking for something where I can just zoom around and I am not wanting to stick that cardigan the, the Portolaca cardigan I don't know why but it doesn't no I just want to follow the pattern there because it's really really well written there's even a craftsy class for it. So um, that pattern is by Carol Feller. It's been in my library for ages, in my queue as well. I already have the yarn. It's it's drops yarn and I can just start right away. But oh, I just got start to scare or something. And maybe I, I, I actually got a bit of finishitis, probably. So, well. But this one is actually finished now. I, I hope to get some clean slate things happening before the end of the year. Which is only two weeks away, but let's see how far we get, can get. I um, actually have printed out clues three and four of my West Knits Mystery Knit Along, so I can do those. I printed out a Antler Cardigan by Tin Can Knits, which is... Um, going to be a two, no, four year old sized cardigan for my friend's baby, a friend who is also getting these mittens. But I still have to start that one. But the first ball of Drops Marino, uh, Big Merino, Merino Big Yarn I got was already such a tangled mess that I was like, put it away. I will knit on something that gives me fun. So that I did and because I, uh, yeah, well, what can I say? I knit a lot on other things and I, it took me a few hours to weave in all those ends. I only got a little bit of knitting in. Oh, let me show you the bag first. My Chetty Cats Creations bag, the Department of Knitting Socks. And in here is a pair of socks. Wow, what a surprise. These are blueberry waffle socks from the toe up. And I did only this little bit on it. I used all my other time for the finishing of the other two projects. Uh, I'm about half an inch away from starting the increases for a flegal heel. I'm using 
a uh, blueberry waffle toe up version that's on Ravelry for free. I forgot who made it. I think it was Wilma something. Well, you can find it if you look under my projects and you can just click through the pattern. Um, I am knitting these on high high sharps, 2.5 millimeter, my preferred, with colorful creativity yarn, which is called Club Tropicana. Uh, one of my happy hour collection colorways. And this is the colorful soft sock, which I love. I already have a pair of blueberry waffles with soft sock. And that pair is always the one that's dirty because I always wear them first after washing. So I thought I needed a new pair. And I really, really love it. So really soft socks. And yeah, it's like a treat to your feet, I think. So that's one project I worked on. And this is still my easy go-to pattern or a project that I take with me. Oh, before I forget, Chatty Cat Creation has an awesome discount code for you guys. And um, it's valid until the end of the year. And I have to look it up in my notes so I do it correct. It's 10% off with the coupon code CHATTYHOLIDAY17. And check back next week if you're a fan of her project bags. Just saying. Next project is in my colorful creativity crazy cat Christmas cats bag. Well, there's doggies too, but I like the cat side better. I'm a cat person. What do you do? Though my cats are kind of lazy at the moment. Binks is either shouting and running around, like meow 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 really really loud and i have no clue what he wants or he's just sleeping and his sister well don't need to start she's meowing at night or at least early in the mornings and uh otherwise not interested in sleeping so in this bag is my second pair of how cold is it mittens and here you can see them on the pattern i like mine with my gradient I have cast on the first one and did this bit. So I got this diamond pattern ready again and I started the F because that's the one you start first. Next row is going to be the start of the other letters. So knitting these with the same yarn. Knit picks chroma. And this is chroma fingering. Here you can see the tag. This is 70% wool and 30% nylon. It's a singles yarn. This tag is from the natural colored one. Can you call it natural colored? The natural one. And the other one is, oh, let me see, look at it, groovy. Yes, it is groovy. So I really like it. Now I am knitting these on a 3mm needle instead of a 2.75. The fabric is a bit more loose and it feels a bit better. So I started again with 60 stitches. 2 by 2 ribbing this time. And then I got to the pattern bit and I added some stitches. So it was the right amount. I really like it. it. It's longer now. It's 10 rows longer than the uh, cuff I did before. Now it's like here. And I'm probably still adding the extra amount of uh, rows I did in the other one as well. But I have to see, maybe a 3mm needle is enough to make it bigger. Who knows? I don't think so, but I think it's only my stitches per inch that changes and not that much in my row gauge. So that's project number two. And that is actually all I've been working on. Well, it's actually four projects. I just finished two. So next up is my acquisitions. 
and I'm starting with my basket here. And in my basket is some really awesome stuff. I got yarn from my friend Petra. I couldn't resist on buying this set. And the left one is looking pretty blue, but I can assure you it's really, really purple. I hope, let me see if this will help. put out the daylight lamp because it's really really white and it makes that purple really is strange but yeah I will put it on again because it is dark today so these two colors are from her special Ghostbusters uh, set it is a collaboration with designer Dana Gervais I hope I pronounced that right. And um, she designed a pattern called Don't Cross the Streams, Ghostbuster themed. And these two, I've been slimed. Well, slimy green this is. I love this color. And this is There's Only a Zoo. And my Ghostbusters knowledge does not go that far. So, that one. And it comes with a ghost stitch marker. Ain't it cute? And she also sent her card with a skull stitch marker. It's really awesome. And I also got the pattern with this because I bought the whole set. So if you're interested, she has some left in the website, I think. And otherwise it will be probably be as a pre-order but yeah amazing colors I love it and then let me put this aside because everything is falling over I got my order from Herzblatt Regina the logo and this is a limited edition yarn a teal purple speckles colorway and the base one of a kind or no, it's oak sock fingering weight yarn, but it is a one of a kind base. And this is what Binx sounds like at the moment. Meh. So it's really, really pretty. And you know my uh, colorful marled yarn maybe, which is with black. And this one is red, red, red and uh, uh, uncolored which you can dye and I really really like it so that was not the only thing she sent me because Regina was so so kind to send me this as well look this call colorway is called late autumn and it's really pretty it's the same one of a uh, limited edition base with red in it. Yay, big sir! Hi! Is you bugging mommy? And the awesomest thing is that I get to give this one away. So you can win this one this week. And um, I would like you to tell me what is your favorite hot winter drink? So leave a note here, a message, a, a comment. That's the word I was looking for. Or in the sec in the thread on Ravelry. And Binks is really sticking his note everywhere where he shouldn't. So well, this is mine, but this one could be yours. And with that new giveaway, of course, it is time to tell you who won the copy of the pattern of the Christmas cookie shawl. And the Christmas cookie shawl is a pattern by uh, Mary Dickerson of craftytuts.com. And I asked you guys to leave me a comment with your favorite Christmas cookie or cookie recipe. So there were not that many who left a, uh, a comment, but 
I managed to do a draw <laughs> between the ones who did and the winner is the VFB which is Louise from the UK so the pattern is coming up to you Louise congratulations and please do join in again on uh, the new giveaway for the skein of Herbstblatt Regina yarn of course for the Christmas cookie shawl or actually all Crafty Toots patterns, I have a special coupon code that will give you 30% off. And that coupon code is COLORFUL. You can use it until the end of the year on all Mary's patterns. And do that because her patterns are really, really nice. Yes, is this the time you finally start cuddling again? You want to show off your well-behaved kitty behavior, right? Oh yes, Wingster. Oh yes. We have a new thing for them. We are brushing their teeth. So maybe that's why they don't love us that much anymore. No. That's not yours. No, 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 no. Not on camera, buddy. Not on camera. He's sitting next to me. There's a chair next to me where I put everything on. I'm gonna put these away safely because he was already nosing around through those and oh cats oh well next and i'm hoping to finally have a shorter episode but i already know that i have a lot of stuff here to show you i didn't even manage to put all the bags of the advent calendar in the bag so i got the bag out uh, only to put stuff back in um, This I didn't tell you a lot about it last time I think This bag was in the awesome advent calendar. Uh, it was the unpacked pre-gift So you can put all your stuff in there. It's made by made by bear and It's from the colorful creativity collection we do together and I'm actually gonna have some of these in my shop soon so for those of you who want that. Um, I'm just gonna start unpacking. Let me start with seven because that's where we were last time. I think. And for that, I got, I hope I do this correctly. Yes, this one is from Habsblad Regina with a little candy. And this one I got from the Shebot Advent Calendar with a stitch marker. These are really, really nice colorways. Um, in the awesome Advent Calendar, the seventh, was a little sachet of coffee, which I can now find later. And this wonderful blue Eula Igor, so a one of a kind uh, undercover otter, otter pup. is day eight. Check, check, check. Day eight for half blood Regina and this was the Shebot kind of one and yeah, you can guess this is one of my favorite colors. So I'm really, really happy and there's nosy Mr. Binks. And then in Regina hers was a brown one with apple pie tea. He doesn't know where where to go. He wants to look at my side and he wants to look at his side and the other side and oh, too much to see. This is a one of a kind colorway, a colorful kitten. And this was in the autumn awesome advent calendar. The colorway is called Bubblegum and we also added these. And I got a message from my mom who also bought an advent calendar with what are those wooden thingies? These are cedar wood balls and they are moth repellents, so moth balls. She was like, oh, are those moth balls? I only know those really, really bad smelling things. Yeah, mom, these are the new moth balls. <laughs> they don't smell. Yeah, well, they do smell, but they smell nice. So the ninth, let me check what was in the ninth. 
it's actually doing this all over again. So I have brought Regina something nice to eat, which I will do later, and she bought Ghana. Oh, this. And a cup of tea. And this wonderful, because I know this colorway, it's Jimmy D. Undercover order cup. We're in my in the awesome advent calendar. And this is Jimmy Lee. I know because I have a skein of that. I actually thought when I would, oh, I really need a full skein of this. And then I had to go through my stash for the Sunset Highway uh, sweater. And I went through the stash that has all the undercover other yarn. It's substantial. Let's just say it politically correct. Um, it already had a Jimmy. Oops. So, next up, on the 10th, which was Sunday, there was Bratapfel tea from F. Gina with this mini. A little bit peachy, orangey, really pretty. And this pink with brown and a tiny, tiny blue speckle, I noticed. And in the awesome Advent calendar, it was gift day because it was the second of Advent. So we got kitty snips. Hiya, hiya, kitty snips. Little scissors, very easy, always handy. And a candy cane because, well, you need candy because it's Advent. That were my notes. Thank you, Binks, for throwing them on the floor. Yes. You is highly, highly interested in everything I do now. So this is a Big Bing show again. So for all of you who missed him, I didn't miss this. Because he is making this episode longer and longer than necessary. Yes, mister. So we have, he's actually head putting everything I have in my hand all the time. But you don't see that because the camera is a bit higher. Yeah, here. See? He wants tension. So much tension. This was a Shebot Ghana on day 11 with this stitch marker. It's a little cat or a little bear. I'm not sure. Something in between. Um, but it's cute. <laughs> I'll put it back. And this was... Regina's one, and I think it was called 80 snowsuits, and uh, uh, yeah, snowsuit, well, something like that, and remember that I had an Aaron weight last week that I also called 80 ski suit, <laughs> it was almost the same color, so we do have the same idea about the 80s. Then, in the awesome Edwin calendar, we had a little Santa chocolate and Clip Tropicana. Yay! Well, you've seen my socks and there was a mini of it. I love that colorway this year and you too because it was sold out instantly. So I decided to bring it back for the awesome Advent calendar. And you can see the awesome Advent calendar as like many of the best colorways of the year and one of a kind. I had like five of the best and five one of a kind and Petra did two one of a kind and the rest were all her pretty best selling ones. So, day 12. She bought Ghana. Something really berry delicious kind of. It reminds me of that at least. And this one is from Regina with a very cute stitch marker. Come on, focus. You can see made with love heart and a jingle bell. And day 12 in the awesome Advent calendar was a big one. It was a notions pouch. Cool. And then also a mini from Undercover Otter, Dr. Fibes. And in Dutch, I've heard people say it, Dr. Pibes, which is like so funny. So 
So I think it's just called Dr. Fives. And this Notions pouch is actually big enough to store some minis in. So you can bring your minis if you are working on a bigger project like a big blanket or something. You can just put the minis in and your not Notions you need. It, it's like a really nice big one. Maybe you could even, if you have 50 gram ball, you could even put a sub project in here. So that's day 12. We are now at day 13, which is today. And today it was this one from Shibotkane. And this one with actually kind of matching tea, winter punch. So very curious about that tea as it's really really wintry. Well, it was more wintry with it being snowy, but it's raining cats and dogs today. And I still think it's winter because it's freezing. I was so cold. I really took a shower after getting wet because it was just... <gasps> Today in the awesome Advent calendar we had Santa's tea and no rainbows without rain. How do you want to match this with the weather today? Raining cats and dogs and you get a colorful kitten in the colorway no rainbows without rain. Really? You can't plan that? Nope, you can't. So that, my dears, was all the week of the ad the whole week of the advent calendar and um yeah let me get my notes that being so really really nicely throw through on the ground so we had the acquisitions we had the giveaway and um the giveaway winner what else is there to say oh yeah I have one really awesome coupon code, of course, that is a 15% off at frogprecreations.etsy.com and she has wonderful project bags. It's also valid until the end of the year and it is colorful 2017. It's a good thing I wrote it all down because with three different coupon codes, it is getting a little bit tricky. So um, as for the shop. Well, I'm actually thinking of keeping it open during the holiday season. I am shipping at the moment on Friday or Saturday for international and during the week whenever I can or whenever Robert takes it because, well, he takes the car. If he takes the car and this is the weather, he can go to the post office or he passes like four of them, I think, on his way to work. So, um, yeah, that's really nice of him that he does that. But the international post office in Germany is a bit further away. And well, yeah, I, I posted it in my Etsy shipping notification thingy that I only ship on Friday or Saturday or depending on my health and the weather. Because when there's like 30 centimeters of snow, we can't get to the German post office as well. So. Sorry about that. And this one I still owe you. This is Hey There. And this is the uh, colorway I dyed up for Janu January's Truly Hooked on Socks Knit Along. The pattern is called Delilah by Truly Hooked. And yeah, it's a really, really pretty colorway, I think. I love this. I mean, who can tell this is my favorite color? No, nobody right? It's a mystery what my favorite color is. It must be yellow, which is my second favorite color. Um, and it combines so well. Oh well. Um, this is Colorful Soft Sock. It is beautifully soft. You can also wear it around your neck and not knit socks from it. What else was there to say about this? Um, I have two skeins ready to ship. I know it says pre-order, but I have still two skeins left ready to ship. 
uh, there is a very nice video made by one of the hosts of the Truly So Coke Down Socks Knit Along Drie Kleine Schaapjes where she shows the socks I think actually both videos show it um, there's the Truly Hooked on Socks vlog and there's a Sticks and Threads podcast which does a spotlight which is Jennifer and she also had the spotlight on Instagram which was kind of awkward seeing all the things I have in my shop from someone else but it was really really nice so thank you for that Jennifer and thank you also to Carla because you had some really nice things to say about me uh, in the Truly Hooked vlog um, and you showed some really amazing socks there so I am hopefully putting in a photo of the socks that Jennifer show, uh, made she showed it to me and she made made a photo for me so I could use it uh, I really love those socks and if you want to know more about it check it out on the Ravelry group for truly hooked on socks knit along I guess with that and me fiddling around with this yarn this podcast is already long enough again I was hoping to keep it a bit shorter but well that being so I had to steal this show and I will see you back next week um, you can join in on the giveaway until probably Tuesday or Wednesday morning um, leave a comment with your favorite hot drink for winter and um, yeah there will be a giveaway again next week I can promise you that already so stay tuned keep watching uh, come back again etc and have a wonderful week Bye-bye.